as coach and manager of their teams respectively, two living legends. In the middle pointing, Potterpool's great coach of many seasons, out his last, Ray Prosser, and in the middle, hand on chin, the formidable Nice team manager, Brian Thomas. And the capacity crowd, especially the, uh, the home fans among them, enjoying tremendous early pressure from Pontypool, with the back row in particular shining. That's Mark Brown driving towards Nice try line. And surely Pontypool can work a man over and get the try. Just a suggestion of a deliberate knockdown by Nice. But they get away with a scrummage. Still, Pontypool's pressure is on. Number nine is won for them by Hugh Llewellyn, a recent recruit at Pontypool Park. Bidgood gets across the line, but is recalled for a forward pass. That's the young man who was chosen against Ireland and, of course, hasn't yet had his cap. One day he may. Still the pressure coming from Pontypool. The forwards looking a tremendous threat to Nice. Alan Carter almost put Goss Davis over at the flag, but even so, after the first 40 minutes, all Pontypool had for their endeavours were two penalties, and Nice, through Colin Laity, begin to hit back immediately the second half starts, 6 3. Beneath goal line, tremendous opportunity for Pontypool to take the first try of the game. Hugh Llewellyn, a second time. The blonde hair of Phil Pugh, right at the heart of the Nice defence. Which side will the ball come out on? It's with Jonathan Davis. This is living dangerously. That's Flair. And now it's a race. The ball is the prize. That is the Pontypool 22. Goss Davis is the first man there. Tremendous follow-up from Nice. Mike Richards, the hooker among the first Nice forwards to get there. Lynn Jones is there too. That's Carl Nyack, number nine. Hugh Richards again crosses the line, but there's been an infringement. Jonathan Davis starting it all with a bit of magic from behind his own goal line. A critical scrummage then, referee peered, watching very closely and has no hesitation. A penalty award against Pontypool, right under the crossbar. The uh, Ralph Jones and Graham Price are not too pleased about it, and this could edge Nice into the lead. Laity places the goal calmly, and the Nice supporters are delighted. The young man from Cornwall putting them ahead. Pontypool not done for. Good line kicking by Peter Lewis has nudged them upfield, and here they are within the Nice 22. Trying to roll the, the scrummage towards the Nice corner flag. Suck in the defence, bring it back to the midfield. Let Bidgood run at the Nice midfield. Nice over the top, and uh, within the last eight minutes, a penalty which could tie the scores. Peter Lewis has already kicked two, and that's his hat trick. And it's 9-9. Peter Lewis. A kick that threatens to take the match into extra time. The halfway line. Clegg and Richard. That's Richard. Up very high. It's with Pew. Surely the Pontypool pack has closed him down. But amazingly, he's out on the other side. Has he got the pace and the stamina? There's the flag. And that is the try that must decide the cup tie. Phil Pew. A sensational try. Jonathan Davis, a difficult conversion, but a very fine kick. 15-9 at the end to Nice. A wonderful game. Nice out on top, but generously applauded by the Pontypool fans. Tremendous stuff. There's the summary we said a week ago.